the world of Hilux has evolved past anything that we as, as human beings in this time can understand. We would describe it as psychedelic, whereas the people in the realm of Hilux would describe it as Tuesday. Hey, my name is Chuck Salamone. I am a Rutgers alumnus circa 2012, and I am the lead composer for the recreational computer program Hilux 2. It's a game where you take control of uh, a character named Wayne, who has a moon for a head. And Wayne uh, goes on this adventure to uh, dethrone the evil King Gibby, um, who is on this tyrannical rampage for seemingly no reason to destroy the moon in the first game and, you know, spoiler alert, get resurrected in the second game to do that sort of thing again. And I tried to write some really cool music for people to just zone out to. It's, it's a strictly visual experience up front. And then, just, just out of nowhere, the music now becomes this noticeable factor of the game, which is a, it's a surprise to me. Mason and I were having this one conversation. It was late in development for uh, my my compositions, um, and it's for a song called "Look Ma, I Fly Now," and that was like the song where I really felt like I had like arrived at something. It sounds like I I finally got to say the thing that I had been looking to say, and it's it's just got uh, again crazy dynamic range. Uh, crazy pacing, um, and it's all just about exploring a floating island in the sky that is seemingly biological and sentient, and it doesn't even care that you're navigating pathways on it. What were we tapping into? Like nobody knows. It's it's crazy. They, like just trying to write music that um, re really captures a, a sense of. This isn't where I parked my car. <laughs> One thing that I, I found out for myself from having gone to Rutgers is that the only person that's ever going to stand in your way of greatness at a constant is you. It's very important if you're struggling as a self-starter, um, which is something that I struggle with at, at a certain point in my life. Uh, if, if you're struggling with that, just start small. You just can't stand in the way of your own greatness. It's the greatest fear.